गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी आई एम नताशा फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स प्ले ग्राउंड एंड आई इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू माई टीम वी आर प्रांजली मंजूषा पूजा एंड राहुल वेल वी ऑल नो दैट देर आर मैनी स्कीम्स टू इंक्रीज द लिटरेसी रेट इन आर कंट्री बट डू वी एक्चुअली नो वेदर दो स्कीम्स आर वेरी इफेक्टिव और आर द चिल्ड्रेन एक्चुअली गेटिंग बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दीज स्कीम्स Uh, the answer to these questions is obviously no because in a country with like so many students it is uh, next to impossible to monitor these facts so uh, this is where uh, ek shiksha steps in ek shiksha being a very noble initiative uh, taken by iit bombay ek shiksha aims at providing equal and uh, quality education to each and every child in this country well uh, as its name suggests its, its motto it is uh, one nation one education at ek shiksha we have interactive applets for uh, subjects like uh, maths physics chemistry biology and many more are yet to come well uh, starting with uh, our part of the project uh, we have uh, created applets for mathematics we have um, uh, actually covered all the elementary uh, level concepts now um, we basically had two objectives uh, in our internship uh, project uh, the objectives the first one was uh, we had to create html pages for the doc files of the chapters that were given to us and uh, the next was we had to uh, make interactive flash activities well uh, making interactive flash activities was actually difficult because we had to think like a teacher and uh, but uh, it was really difficult in the first but uh, our mentor was um, our mentor mr avinash avate was uh, constantly there to guide us throughout our work now starting with the first objective those were the html pages we have created around 80 html pages for uh, cha for chapters of classes 3 4 5 7 and 9 and uh, these html pages have been made interactive by linking them to the javascript files that is we have a uh, answer box for each and every question and uh, the child can put the answer there in the box and he can verify whether his answer is correct or not now uh, moving to the uh, next important part uh, those were the flash activities which we had to uh, uh, create we ha we have covered basically two most important topics of uh, mathematics the numerical portion and the geometry portion now i'd like to call rahul to continue uh, with the numerical portion of our project uh, as we all know to make progress in any activity uh, one requires to have a clear cut understanding of the foundations and the basics uh, for example one cannot proceed with addition without learning how to count and similarly one cannot learn multiplication without learning how to add so at the elementary level the problem basically is uh, anything other than the visually appealing illustrations are useless because uh, the students do not have that much developed minds to grasp them through text so we have tried to avoid text in oral activities uh, we have basically divided our work into uh, five modules uh, that is uh, digit value addition multiplication division and decimal system the first module that we have is uh, digit value digit value basically introduces the concept of place value in mathematics Uh, we have made uh, several illustrative activities with the use of bundles and sticks and coins and money. Uh, teaching through coins and notes is a particularly very innovative method because every student today, even at the elementary level, recognizes what a one rupee coin is or what a ten rupee note is, and he also knows that a ten rupee note is equivalent to ten one rupee coins. We have made several activities. Uh, we have made the uh, tens place with money, uh, then uh, tens place with bundles and sticks. then we also have two test modes wherein the student can test his level of understanding uh, each test mode has four levels now we i will demonstrate a test mode as you can see this is a test mode this has four levels level 1 is for numbers from 1 to 19 level 2 is for numbers from 11 to 19 uh, 11 to 99 and level 3 and level 4 are subsequent higher levels uh, click level 1 uh, in this activity uh, on pressing the next button a uh, number appears on the screen in this case it is 7 Now the student is expected to make seven. Uh, he can drag seven coins. Click done. Uh, see, this is the wrong answer. The student has actually made six, and he has clicked the done button, uh, but he was expected to make seven. And secondly, uh, click the exit button. Uh, press level four. This is the highest level. 
this is up to numbers uh, up to uh, 9999 in this activity on clicking the next button uh, similar is the procedure the student has to make 4823 in this case next module the next module is the addition in addition we've basically uh, done four activities and each activity had at least two sub activities uh, we have done uh, two digit addition using money uh, and also with bundles and sticks with and without carry again uh, then we have done three digit addition using money finally we have demonstrated the conventional addition addition procedure uh, using the colored columns uh, and this this activity had uh, basically three modes one was the demonstration interactive and the test modes in the demonstration mode uh, two numbers appeared on the screen and the student was uh, the answer of the question was shown to the student in the interactive mode uh, the student was expected to input two numbers and the sum was shown to the student and finally in the test mode two numbers randomly would appear on the screen and the student was expected to write the answer now we will show you a demonstration uh, this is two digit addition using money with carry uh, press the next button as you can see there are two numbers 6 and 84 uh, now uh, how can the two numbers be made that has also been shown uh, 6 is equivalent to 6 coins and 84 is equivalent to 8 10 rupee notes and uh, 4 coins on there are two buttons basically learn steps and get answer on pressing the learn steps uh, the entire procedure for sol solving the question would be shown to the student press learn steps as you can see the addition procedure has started from uh, the coins because uh, from the units place uh, so the coins are add, being added first as soon as 10 coins appear on the screen they will be replaced by a 10 rupee note Similar is the case when 10, uh, 10 rupee notes would appear, a 100 rupee note will appear. Uh, a, student can also get, uh, a student can also press get answer to get the answer directly. Next module. As per the statistical record, uh, many students find multiplication a hard nut to crack. That is primarily because uh, uh, the schools today focus uh, mainly on road learning rather than practical implementation. So uh, we have tried to uh, do away with this limitation. Uh, we have started by demonstrating that uh, multiplication is nothing but a rep uh, repetitive addition uh, through our activity uh, single digit multiplication. Then we have demonstrated single digit tables using money. Uh, then we have also shown uh, 2 cross 2, 3 cross 2 and 4 cross 3 uh, the conventional multiplication procedure using colored columns. We have also shown the steps. And finally we have incorporated the geometrical concept of area of rectangle that is length into breadth to demonstrate multiplication. Uh, we will demonstrate this activity now. In this two numbers are being generated and uh, the numbers are being represented in expanded form then. Uh, then the rectangles are being shown and the area of each rectangle is being represented. And uh, finally uh, we have the answer. On clicking the next button uh, two new numbers will be generated. Next module. This is the division activity. We have basically shown division by distribution of money. Uh, in this activity there are basically two random number generators one corresponds to the amount of money that appears on the screen and the second corresponds to the number of users uh, that is the number of students uh, uh, upon division the uh, amount of money that each student would be getting is displayed in front of that student uh, next module next we have is the decimal system uh, we have made four activities in this uh, we started off by demonstrating how 1 by 10 can be represented as a decimal fraction in this we have used uh, two scales one is the millimeter scale and the other is the centimeter scale in the millimeter scale the student is expected to write uh, to input the number and the answer would be uh, shown in the centimeter scale and also on the number line secondly we have how 1 by 100 can be represented as a decimal fraction in this we have used uh, a very old 1 pesa coins because 1 pesa is 1 by 100th of a rupee so in this uh, in this case also we have uh, two scales one is the uh, the student is expected to write uh, in pesa the amount in pesa and uh, the amount in rupee would be displayed to him and uh, also the amount of money in uh, notes and coins would also be displayed finally we have uh, shown decimal to fraction conversion in this there is the uh, there are they, we have made a table in which there is the hundredth column uh, the tens column the units column and the one by tenth of a column and one by hundredth of a column the student is expected to input the number a decimal number and the placement of the digits would be appropriately in the table 
and finally uh, the fraction representation would also be shown finally we have made comparison of decimal numbers uh, using the you know uh, the conventional uh, symbols the less than greater than or equal to uh, now i request uh, pooja to please take over and continue with geometry thank you rahul good evening everyone today i am going to talk about the major sub topic of mathematics that is geometry geometry as we all know is basically concerned with the properties and relationship between points lines planes and figures here we have covered some of the topics like the basic shape perimeter area and volume basic concepts angles and construction we all know that many of the students seem to have difficulty in grasping the idea of perimeter and area we have found the best way to help them learn the difference between the two while uh, we have illustrated some activities for them next please first we have the basic shapes the basic building block of geometry is the knowledge of shapes now we have several activities here first is matching of shapes of different objects then with different sizes and then with different angle of rotations we have the activity here demonstration now here we have different shapes and different holes to match the shapes first we match the shape correctly the child has to match each and every shape then also he matches a shape correctly now if he matches the shape incorrectly then that shape will go back to its original position and will not fit into the hole we also have a hint but hint button if the child gets confused in between he may click on the hint button and all the shapes will be matched correctly we have a next button that will generate another number of shapes and if the child matches all the shapes correctly then he'll get the stars we to encourage him that he has answered answered all the things correctly next module is the perimeter perimeter as we all know is basically defined as the length of the boundaries now here we have covered several activities to determine the perimeter of regular and irregular polygons we have the activities we have also used the fields and fences we have measured the length of the fences to calculate the perimeter of irregular polygons now here we have the activity you can see we have different regular polygons when we click on the regular polygon it will come in the drawing area now uh, that side number of sides in the polygon are mentioned and the length is randomly generated perimeter is calculated using the formula side into length then we get we can also click on the polygon to resize it and length will be changed accordingly next similarly we can click on any other polygon and we'll get the perimeter next please now we have the area and the volume area is defined as the amount of surface space that an object has and volume is basically the measure of space space taken up by the solid object now we have illustrate illustrated several activities here to measure the area and volume of regular irregular polygons and spherical solids first we have the area of irregular shape using graph paper next we have area of circle using graph and then at last volume of spherical solids we have illustrated the activity here demonstration please here we have the graph paper when we click on the next button an irregular shape is randomly generated now what we do is area by counting we calculate the number of full squares that are covered by the figure then the number of squares which are covered greater than half and then which are covered exactly half we calculate the area by counting we uh, add the number of full squares they are considered as full now the square which are covered greater than half they are also considered as full and finally the number of half squares they are divided by 2 to get the area and thus we get the area by counting now over to natasha for for the concepts uh, now i'll proceed with the next sub module uh, it is the basic concepts well uh, these concepts are the most important concepts because these are the uh, building blocks of geometry so uh, we have started with uh, differentiation between uh, what a line line segment and a ray is then we proceeded to uh, measuring and comparing lines we have illustrated different types of triangles different types of quadrilaterals along with their properties uh, we then finally we have regular polygons and 3d shapes along with their properties we'll demonstrate uh, the classification of quadrilaterals uh, nay no, first we'll demonstrate uh, measuring and comparing lines well in this uh, we can see that there are two lines the length of these two lines are ra uh, randomly generated uh, we have a tool measuring tape to help the child get uh, to know the length of these lines we'll place it accordingly we'll place it, place it at the starting point of first line measure it 
and then input uh, the value in the box that has been given. Then again place it in the appropriate position for the second line. We again note this reading and put it in the place. Well, we can see that there are three options which have been, uh, which have been given there. One is greater than, uh, AB is greater, CD is greater, or both are equal. We can click on the appropriate option, click on the submit button, and he'll know whether his answer is correct or not. And uh, suppose in, uh, by the next button, he'll get the next question. But suppose he's stuck somewhere, he can uh, click on the hint button, and he'll know the length and the relation between both the lines. Now, the next demonstration. We have classification of quadrilaterals. We have demonstrated the properties of different quadrilaterals here. Like suppose we want to know the properties of parallelogram. Uh, well, uh, the, the, uh, the point D, uh, that is uh, draggable, that is we can resize the parallelogram according to us, but its properties would not be changed. That is, that is it will still be a parallelogram. Uh, we can uh, know the internal angles, and by clicking on the diagonal button, we will know the diagonals of uh, these uh, quadrilaterals. Similarly, if, it, if we click it again, it will disappear. Uh, similarly, we have the properties for all other, uh, all other quadrilaterals. The next. Well, the next one is angles. Uh, well, in this, uh, we have demonstrated different types of uh, angles, that is obtuse, acute, or right angle. Uh, we have tried to make it more appealing using the math sticks. And uh, for a test mode, we have comparison of angles. In comparison of angles, we have implemented uh, the protractor tool, which can be resized according uh, to our needs. We'll demonstrate the com uh, comparison of angles here. Uh, see, uh, so we have two random figures uh, that has been randomly generated. Uh, we'll uh, place the protractor accordingly. And we have a plus and minus sign option. That is, we can resize it. Uh, uh, by plus, it will become large. We'll place it, uh, we'll uh, measure the angle, put it on the second uh, figure, and uh, we'll uh, uh, enter the relation between these two angles. Click on the submit button and we'll know whether this answer is right or wrong. Similarly, random set of uh, questions are generated once we click the next button. Now, uh, this was the most uh, important and uh, difficult part of our project. Uh, we had to show construction of uh, triangles. Uh, we have implemented side angle side construction and side 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 construction. We have uh, made the use of tools like a protractor in side angle side and uh, measuring tape or uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have made a tool for drawing arc. We will uh, demonstrate the side 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 construction here. Uh, here we can see that the, the length of the three sides have been randomly gener generated. First, we uh, uh, make the baseline with some appropriate length, like uh, we make the baseline with length uh, 14 centimeters. Place it accordingly. Now, for uh, creating the arc, we first need to uh, get a radius for that arc. So, uh, for getting the radius, we click on the arc button. We uh, place it accordingly uh, to the position uh, where we want it. By clicking on the draw arc, it will start drawing the arc now. Now for the arc of the next side, we again need to resize the radius of that line. Uh, it, is, uh, it, is seven, it is 11 centimeters now. Then again, we'll place it accordingly. We'll draw the arc for the second side. And then finally, drawing the line of uh, these two sides, uh, we'll click on the draw line. And these two lines will intersect at the point where these two arcs are intersecting. So this is how the child can uh, create a triangle and uh, keep practicing for the construction here. And uh, by clicking next, we get another set of random questions. Well, uh, uh, these were some of the, uh, some of the activities uh, which we had created. Now coming to the challenges of our project. Well, uh, initially, uh, placing the objects appropriately according to the display coordinates was uh, difficult, but uh, after doing some of it, uh, we started uh, learning how to actually place them. 
adding grab drag and drop listener to these objects uh, were uh, a challenge for us in the in initial stage then uh, construction as i already said its tools implementing them it was really difficult but uh, we somewhat uh, tried to do it and um, we had to generate random questions at the click of each next button but uh, these questions were they were uh, though they were random but they had to be appropriate so that the, uh, the child can learn the steps properly of solving a particular question so this was another issue for us now the learnings that we did uh, in this project we learned object oriented programming we learned how to uh, create uh, industry standard codes we learned to work as a team and uh, time management as it is important uh, for all cases uh, we learned time management too now um, we uh, the uh, the team of mathematics playground we went to two schools here at the campus itself uh, that was the kv iit and the campus school uh, it um, present in the campus so uh, the feedback that we got uh, from the teachers and the students were like they were very enthusiastic with what uh, what we did and uh, we can uh, uh, we can see some of the happy users we this was a certificate that we got uh, from the schools there and uh, these are some of the pics that we clicked uh, during our visit these are some of the references uh, for creating of our project and uh, thank you everybody i would like to i would li now like to demonstrate some of the activities on the tablet uh, to the mentors present here and um, uh, queries are welcome uh, anybody wants to ask anything